didn't kill off too many things here. And while we still didn't, we still didn't even um, get our stamina all the way up. Let's check the map and see where this tailor is. Top left. This worries me. All right, so this is the warm boon. Let's see. Um, first, we gotta sell a gold bar. Sorry about that. Yes, this worries me. I don't have any gold bars with me. Shoot. Sorry, um, a, a reason I take uh, little breaks often is um, I do have a pregnant wife, so I do have to tend to her. But hopefully I edit them where uh, it just doesn't really become too big of a deal. It does, um, oh wow, look at this. Really good junk pile. Um, let's go ahead and learn the warm boon. It's actually yes. something we needed. This worries me. Remember this. Curious. All right, so now that we got our next boon, let's actually hop bar that. There we go. Actually, I want to experiment with something that probably, I know that we have the sigil of fire here. So let's go ahead and use that. Firestone is required. Never mind. I wanted to see if, um, what would happen if I use mana push inside that. Okay, um, we went the wrong way. We're gonna go and talk to the king and we know. Or actually, sorry, actually, before we do that, we actually have to find our friend, um, Yusan from Chersonese. I completely forgot about him. He came here after all the wreckage, so let's uh, see if we could find him anywhere. Usually Yazan would be here, but I guess uh, I guess I forgot to talk to him back uh, before I left. Anyways, uh, here here is a skill trainer, and we're actually going to be interested in picking up some of these skills: armor training and uh, fast maintenance. Is one of them, and uh, we could go into the breakthrough of um, this skill tree. 
Shield infusion is a pretty nice skill here that blocks some um, elemental attacks and actually um, makes your shield into a bomb. Let's go ahead and talk to the hero's palace. Let's talk and see if we could get into this uh, guild here. I am sorry, but unless you have official business here, I do not have time to spare for a visitor. Ah, I guess not. Um... What could I do for you? <laughs> Sounds like a cool prince. Uh, let's, uh... Talk to her, I think. It's down by the fountain near the inn. I could have sworn I was, uh, I was there. He should have been here. I wonder why he's not. Maybe if I exit and come back. That's kind of weird. Um, he should have been there. And now I'm getting told to go and Go and speak with him first, and I'm trying to do that. So he's still not here. Where else would he be? Maybe at the end. Is that you, son? I can't tell. Where'd this man go? How oh, this is troubling. Thunderstock, and he has a pretty good selection of a hundred dollars for an alchemy kit. That is pretty pricey. And this is actually what we need to buy a uh, chemist broken glass. Mm, but this worries me. I have to look up and see what's going on with my missing Yazan. I'll be right back. Guys, mistakes were made. So I never talked to Yusan or... Um, I looked at my quest guide here, looking into the future. I never talked to Yusan or Oliel um, before I left and did all my adventuring. So, because I didn't do that, they didn't leave. So I'm all the way over here already before Yazan even got here so that's a little embarrassing so I do have um, a quick little way to try to let's 
gonna be pretty expensive, but I have no choice. Let's go ahead and honestly leave all our food. Hopefully it doesn't rot over here. Actually, I'm gonna make that right away. You shouldn't need that anymore. Let's take all my money. Grab a couple of these. All of those. And... Oh wow, okay. Uh... Let's go buy a really expensive, uh, wow, dead end, uh, really expensive uh, alchemy kit and uh, save my precious um, How can I help you? blood mushroom from being wasted. Problem. I do want to take the cooking pot with me now. Did use my worst one, but um, I still probably not going to survive uh, by the time we get back. Alright, no rations. That's okay, we'll just buy some. I help this worries me. Can I help you? This worries me. All right, so if we talk to the Sorborian caravan um, guy, this is only, of course, if you guys have the DLC, you could ask to travel with him. Yes. And then he'll take you to um, Harmanta, the DLC location. And that's actually the main city for 200 silver and 4 rations. So actually, let's hit not yeah, now because well, I don't have that. Let's actually do 400 because he's going to charge us on the way back. Can I help you? This worries me. Yes! So, um,. We're going to do that and head over to the main city of the DLC, but don't worry, uh, we're not going to do anything here yet, because uh, I don't want to yet. I like to, I want to do this uh, 
last because uh, I haven't really done anything much over here. I did some exploring. I got really lost. Um, it took me forever to find my way back to the city. I actually died a couple times and it made me even more lost. Um, so um, I really want to get the experience right here. So talk back uh, with the Silverborean caravan here. And this is only to get back to uh, Chierzo as fast as possible. Um, talk back to him and Greetings, ask that to travel. And he's going to randomly pick a um, city for him to take you. And um, you have no choice. Uh, he, he'll change after seven days, I believe. It's like three or seven days. I'm not too sure. But it, it'll, it'll change, but hopefully... Um, Get somewhere close to uh, Sherzo. Yes. Monsoon. That's actually not that bad. I could actually run through Monsoon really, really fast. <clears throat> Alright, let's do a uh, quick little Monsoon run. And that takes us straight into Sherzini, so not bad. Damn. Oh. Yes. Well, Let's see, um, I need rations, I believe. Two more. Greetings, friend. Yes. Alright, I just need one more, but that's okay. So that's the entrance to Monsoon here, and if you go straight down here, the caravan is would be uh, right here. And you're gonna talk to him. Greetings, friend. And the only reason why I'm talking to him is uh, to get a bit more um, rations. So uh, I believe I, I need one more. So I'm gonna buy two more just in case, and sell a. Bandage. All right, so I honestly only have uh, water, so there's a water supply right here. We'll explore this city um, much more when we get to it. really close uh, to if it wasn't for this slight hiccup where we had to um, go back to Shierzo um, we're actually really close to um, where I left off at and where I would be in completely in, um, not blind but because I do know a lot of the game but it's not going to be uh, a quick and uh, guide like playthrough anymore anyways um so in order to get to and from um, monsoon so this is a quick guide uh, you just follow these towers so i'm gonna do that i'm just gonna follow the towers and it'll take you all the way from uh, monsoon the city uh, and all the way to uh um, Chersonese, so it's really handy and it can get confusing at times and there's a lot of powerful enemies along this path so something to be weary of I didn't bring any food with me because I was doing a lot of traveling and a lot of the food would just waste away there's a few guys I want to avoid right there 
eat the gadberry for some stamina recovery here. If you run past those bandits, actually it's all walled up. I have no choice here. I'm just gonna run past them. Just keep following the signs here. There's the next one. There's some bandits here. I'm gonna have to run away from. Never mind. Really don't want to be fighting right now. Hopefully, the archer didn't aggro on me. Actually, archer did aggro on me. Okay, now I'm running from everybody. Can't even stop for water. Scatterberry is doing a hard carry here. Just keep following the sign, guys. Uh, thank God we haven't um, bumped into anything uh, tougher than, these, than the bandit cap captain right there. Okay, so the next one is off in the distance right over there. Oh, shoot. Okay, <laughs> that guy scared me. He's still on my tail. Jeez. So this one was a little tricky because of the way it was placed. Gosh, okay, so now I got more, more people on my tail. So we're just following the signs here, doing nothing else. Running away from enemies. Jeez, that one dog is very persistent. All right, where's the next sign after this? There it is, right over there, south. Further south is the next sign. Jeez, all right, dinosaur. Or maybe I just will. I will fight this guy. He is so persistent, and I, I just I'll let him uh, follow me for a bit. But I think you know, enough's enough. a nice heal he got off on himself. Alright. Take all his loot. Look at this Gadberry man. I just ate that one Gadberry and it's still going. Okay, continue and follow the signs here. Next one's over there. Okay, definitely avoid those guys. They follow you forever. Okay, 
big. You guys might not get um, so lucky as I did and just have that those type of enemies, the dogs and bandits. Um, sometimes you have uh, raptors after you and if they catch up to you, they could actually stun lock you. So this is the entrance here through Chersonese. Um, yeah, just following these um, uh, pylons here, I guess. I'm not too sure what to call them. Or sigils. All right, three rations required. We got the perfect amount. Let's go. All right, here we're gonna. It's winter time in Chersonese, so that's nice. Uh, let's go ahead and eat a Gadbury. Um, we're actually pretty cozy here, just um, right now. We're not getting cold. Um, I'll, I'll speed up the way um, home. Um, we already know where. If you head straight west here, on the right is gonna be the Ghost Pass. So um, you guys should know how to get home from there, right? So I'm going to just speed this part up. Alright guys, so fast forward over, all I did was um, pick some gadberries on the way over. Got a spice beetles of course, and we also saw winter become summer right before our eyes. It was pretty, pretty intense, but yeah. Greetings, friend. See, I feel like I have stuff to sell now, but I really don't. Oh yeah, the alchemy. Okay, here. Actually, do have stuff to sell. Go through here. Okay, so let's talk to you, son. You really should do this at the beginning of the game, but yeah. I take it you've heard the news. Come to see your old pal off. I've got one little fishing barge to my name. By a lot, I'm gonna use it. The heroic kingdom believes in chasing progress to create a better world. Listen. That I will. I will chase the Levantine dream and make it my own. We'll go by ocean as far as we can, then lake it across the Abbasar Desert on foot. I'd take you if I could, but you can't swim. And on a barge that small, you'd be nothing but a liability. If you plan to make the journey to Levant completely on foot, be prepared for a long the Abrasar Desert, I'll be waiting for you. Alright, so your son is um, actually in 
a want now, and um, let's uh, quickly talk to this lady. This lady here for the Blue Chamber Collective, or the Holy Tribe, I forgot which. I guess this is goodbye. Holy Mission, yeah, so this I'm is the Holy this Mission lady. Holy mission. I'll miss it too. Risa has done some things I can't agree with. I can't talk about it. All right, listen. Now we're talking. The holy mission is about more than just working under a manifested god. Have discipline and mastery over yourself. Hmm. If you do want to join us, meet me in Monsoon, in the Hallowed Marsh. Once in the marsh, follow the Pilgrim Road. Alright, and then I'm gonna go up and talk to Risa, and she should be the final one, and uh, I'm gonna speed it up and take us up. Uh, Back over to uh, Lava. There you are. Urgent news just came in. Well then, I'm going to Berg, the main settlement in the Enmakar Forest. I have an offer. I will pay off. It's complicated. The Blue Chamber Collective is about coming together. As a family. Hmm? It's your choice. Your life is in your hands. You will need to prepare travel rations. Well then. Here's what you need to know. Alright, so we got some free travel rations too, so let's go uh, to the house and uh, let's uh, get uh, set up with some food and um, get over here. Um, I'm probably just going to teleport us. I'm just going to go straight. Um, I swear, just like you saw me doing with that wolf, um, I did kill the peril bird because I'm a I'm still looking for that mask. So, uh, Peril Birds and Gadberries are the only thing I'm going to be picking, as well as um, Cactus Flower in the Desert. Those are the Gadberries of the Desert. Um, so, those are the only things I'm going to be picking. I'm going to refuse to fight absolutely anything without telling you guys, because um, technically, oh, I'm not supposed to be doing it and this was all supposed to be done in, in the beginning it's, I want to keep it true to that so um, yeah I'll, I'll show you my bag as soon as I get done um, collecting everything and um, cooking everything and uh, teleport all the way but before that actually let's go take out the sword because this is why I brought the Firefly powder here. I'm actually going to take all the mechanicals. And I think that's all I needed. I do want to cook a bunch of stuff, but. I should take this jerky. That, that. Don't need much of anything else, really. Greasy fern, should I take some of this? I am gonna plan to get stronger, so maybe stronger potions would be better. I'm 
already all filled up here. Alright, so, um, sorry guys, uh, alright, so, um, for the sword, just to show you guys, iron sword, uh, gold lich mechanism, and firefly powder would get you a really cool gold lich sword. So it's not, um, as strong as the, the horror sword here, and it does, uh, a little bit less of everything so if you add up the damage this adds up to 30 total damage and this is how I like to look at it for a quick um, off the top of your head if you want to see uh, how, how big a difference a uh, weapon is so altogether this is a uh, 30 damage and this is a 27 damage so um, a 7 damage difference so more or less uh, and it has a uh, four or less impact so um, oops yeah actually put that on by accident but yeah um, it's a lightning based weapon it's pretty decent not bad and you could also add the rags to it to add um, more damage to your weapon um, also powerful uh, as well in combination with the boons so nothing wrong with that and that'll just make turn any weapon into a powerhouse i mean look how well we did with the fang sword early on in the series um so yeah this gold edge sword really good if you're looking for um, lightning based damage and you want to focus on that because you know if you're going to an area where most of the monsters are weak to uh, lightning, uh, this is the sword I would want to bring. Um, so I actually am bringing the sword. I'm going to fill up my pocket as well as my... Clip that real quick. Alright guys, so this is uh, my pack here. Let me show you. Not much is going to change except probably the water and the, the Gadberry quantity and the tartines that I'm going to be eating. Um, but yeah, I plan on not fighting anything. I'll probably be using this, uh, the teas to uh, lose um, some stamina. Alright, so um, you guys uh, saw um, my inventory, so I'm going to go ahead and just teleport to Levant and you guys will um, miss out on all the running. So hopefully that's alright. Uh, you guys should really comment if that's alright. Um, I feel like I don't want to bore you guys with all the running and all that. So, till the next time. Well, not till the next time. Huh?
right, guys. So, um, <laughs> seriously, I I just killed a hyena because he was uh, right outside the entrance um, that I left him, and I wanted to kill this uh, pearl bird. Otherwise, I would have just um, let the hyena chase me all the way um, to the entrance of uh, the Emmerger uh, forest. But yeah, look at we got the pearl mask, really sweet. Um, plus 15% movement speed, and it only weighs a pound, so that's uh, going to be really good. And we get our arrow back, too, as a bonus. So let's go ahead and put that on. This also only weighs uh, a pound, so switching between these helmets is not going to cost us anything for our bag, uh, in terms of baggage weight. Let's get some uh, Cadbury's. And then I, I just feel like I run so much faster now. Well, not too much faster, but a lot faster than before. So actually, let's see if I could just uh, shred. I'll drop the antidote there and actually take a bandage. All right, yeah, man, I feel like I'm running fast like the wind now. Okay, so I'm gonna start the the speeding again, and, uh, or not the speeding. Um, I'm actually glad I kept the the recording for all this. Um, I'll uh, see you guys uh, in Levant now, uh, a lot faster than I expected now. So. Alright guys, um, here we are back in uh, Levant, and um, actually I kind of lied to you guys um, as soon as I came into Levant and I was picking uh, cactus fruit. Um, there was a couple corpses that had um, pretty good items uh, in their uh, water skin, some more live weedy, a small sapphire, and a predator. But I actually found that here in the Abyssar Desert, so I guess I could keep it. So yeah, anyways, um, let's go in and put away our stuff and finally start the 
the heroic kingdom quest. It looks like uh, nothing rotted away while uh, it was in the back here, so assuming it's okay for me to put fruit and stuff. But we'll see how it all turns out in the end. away I think I'm okay for now, actually. Let's go ahead and put away the... That, and um... Actually, I suppose I could make the tea and then just put it away. mushroom away and let's go ahead and uh all right guys so i did that was just a quick little maintenance there to clean up and get some food out of my storage um, i sped it up so hopefully uh these boring parts won't be too long. Uh, let me know how you guys feel about the speeding up part on the boring stuff. Or if you guys want to see exactly how I set up my uh, going out gear. Anyways, uh, let's talk to Levant. I want you to join Levant. Good to hear. We could always use someone. Alright, so um, we have two options to get uh, vouched uh, for Levant, and it's, um, I'll show you both options right here. So this is the middle plaza where you, you have your chef and your um, general merchant to the right here. 
you see this guy in a uh, in Tomer um, outfit and a uh, weird mask. You talk to him, uh, he'll ask for a payment, and that's what I did last time, and that's all you have to do. He just asks for a one-time payment, and uh, and that's that. A two hundred um, over here. I never done it with. Uh, with uh, this chicken right here, so we're gonna go this route because I'm not familiar with it. Oh, wonderful! Another mouth to feed. Show me that you're a mage, and I'll give you my approval. Got a job for you. All right, so easy enough. Um, looks like she just asked um, for you to unlock mana, and uh, um, if you haven't, I guess uh, you ha kind of have to go through. If you want to get around that, you're gonna have to pay um, some silver for that. I believe it's 200 silver, but um, not too much. But yeah, since uh, we do have uh, mana unlocked already, and we don't have to go all the way back. Uh, Let's go ahead and just talk to her again. Hmm. <coughs> You'll do. I'll vouch for you on behalf of Levitt's army. You burn this. Listen, Klaus. All right, so we got a new objective here, and just to talk to Queen Calixia to commit to the faction. Oh, this is if you want to join the server, and I was like, enrollment. I've never seen that before. Um, Okay, so uh, yeah, looking to the future, we're still doing this. Um, but let's go ahead and talk to the queen. Your face isn't familiar to me. Welcome to the heroic kingdom. Nice speaking with you. We are constantly under threat. If you can help us, then we would be overjoyed to have you. Will you pledge your service to the ideals of the heroic kingdom of Levant? To help us create a place where humankind can do more than just survive. I pledge myself to the heroic kingdom. Okay, so this is uh, just uh, to make sure you're sure. I pledge myself to the heroic kingdom. Excellent. The heroic kingdom of Levant is happy to have you, citizens. 